Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new brand that has just dropped in Target. So this brand is called Finery. I believe this is only a Target exclusive. I don't know if you could get them anywhere else. I'm sure you can get them like off of their website if they even have a website. I'm not sure. But I know that you can get them from Target and they're starting to pop up in Target stores. I've been getting DMs over on Instagram and even on here to review this brand ever since it started to kind of pop up at random stores. You guys were telling me to review this brand, but it has I didn't yet come to my stores and I was grocery shopping at Target yesterday and I kind of walked by the perfume aisle just to see if they had dropped yet and sure enough one of my stores did have them so I believe there is nine in total at least from what I could look up online I really hope I'm not forgetting anything and in their line they have the perfumes they also have matching body sprays they also have discovery sets so it's basically kind of like mix bar I don't know if they're taking away mix bar because I went to my store and they were completely cleared out of mix bar all that there was was this new brand so I don't know if this this is kind of like the replacement for mix bar or if mix bar is still gonna be there I'm not sure but this is kind of like them in a way where you get the discovery sets you get the body mist you get the matching perfumes and I feel like this is the brand that I've been the most excited about I was excited about mix bar but to be honest I only liked like one or two of the scents in the line whereas with this line I love a lot of their perfumes and what I love is that they are dupes for really high-end perfumes and their dupes are really high-end perfumes that are not duped as much every dupe house has for example a dupe of like black opium I feel like so many perfumes smell like it and I'm just like tired of seeing that but the perfumes that these are compared to are actually perfumes that are not duped that much as far as the price point of this brand I feel like it's the most expensive that Target has had I believe mix bar was like $20 for the perfumes these are almost $30 I think the exact amount is like $27.99 so with tax basically like 30 bucks but I do feel like that is well worth it with this brand because I do feel like they provide a lot higher quality than what we've seen before at least in my opinion the body mists are $15.99 I believe so they are almost half of the price of the perfumes but obviously they're not going to be as strong as the perfumes are it's it's a body mist so personally I picked up five of the nine scents that they have now when I was at the store I did kind of make a little note about what I thought of the other fragrances just so I could quickly kind of speak on them in this video give my two cents and maybe you guys can get an idea of what they smell like what perfumes that they're compared by and also the reasoning behind why I didn't get those scents and why I got these so with all that being said before we get into this video please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let's get started all right so like I said I picked up five of their scents I picked up four perfumes and one body mist so in no particular order actually let's start with the body mist and get that out of the way since I only have one and then we'll get into the perfumes so the first body mist that I got now there is a matching perfume to this there's a matching perfume to all of their body mists which is nice because you can buy the perfumes and the body mist and you can layer them together and they'll last a really long time so the first body mist that I got is called Sunphoria I quickly smelled this and ooh so good I was spraying them all on myself and I was getting like overwhelmed because I had like 50 perfumes on me and at first when I sprayed this I'm like mm, whatever like I put it down didn't think much of it and then after I had sprayed them all on I was walking around the store doing some more shopping and I kept smelling this scent in particular now Based off of the name, maybe you can guess what kind of scent this is going to be. It's called Sunphoria. So this scent to me smells like really, really fancy, expensive, luxurious sunscreen. Like it is sunscreen in a bottle. It's very much a summer scent. And as far as the perfumes that this is compared to, it is compared to Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford, which is also like a really expensive smelling sunscreen scent. I definitely smelled Soleil Blanc. I don't own it, but I have smelled the testers like in stores. Every time I go into like a Tom Ford section, I'm always spraying Soleil Blanc. So I'm very familiar with what the scent smells like. So this is definitely giving me major so like blanc vibes so the notes in this are manoi oil orange blossom and amber wood i think what gives this like that sunscreen vibe is that combination with the manoi oil as well as the orange blossom straight up sunscreen all right now let's get into the perfumes i'm gonna show you guys the one that i like the least and then i'll get into my favorites so i picked the scent up because i thought i really liked it at the store 
But then after wearing it a little longer, I realized that I kind of don't like it. Like it kind of doesn't smell the best on me. I guess what really excited me about this scent was the scent that it's compared by because it's a scent that I've wanted for a really long time. This is called I Am A Musk and obviously it's a very musky scent. So this one says blissfully floating through a daydream and it smells like fluffy musk, cotton blossom, and creamy sandalwood. As far as their perfumes, here's what they look like in comparison to the body sprays. Obviously you get more product, but they kind of look the same. It's just this one's plastic and this is a glass bottle. So I'm a musk, like I said, very musky scent. And what really drew me to buying this scent was the fact that it's compared to Molecule 01 by Eccentric Molecules, which is a perfume I've wanted for a while. I just haven't been able to get my hands on it. So I figured, you know, might as well just have a dupe. Another scent that it says on Fragrantica that it's compared to is Cloud by Ariana Grande. I personally do not get Cloud from this at all. Cloud is way, 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 way sweeter. This is not really sweet. Out the bottle, this smells so much like Kenneth Cole White to me. And if you watch my videos, you know I love Kenneth Cole White. But it only smells like it when I just smell it. Out the bottle because once I put it on my skin there's something that happens that I don't really love it has like this almost tangy like sourness quality to it it almost kind of actually reminds me of thank you next by Ariana Grande in a weird way I don't know why just without all of like the sweetness of thank you next like take out the sweetness and you leave that like soury sort of kick that thank you next has that's what this gives me like it's not a bad scent I'm just like I'm still I guess it's a really unique scent. Just weird, unusual scent. So that's why I'm kind of having a hard time figuring the scent out. I think it just doesn't really work on me personally because once this has dried on my skin, like right now it's starting to dry down and I'm getting a strong sandalwood scent that I'm not really loving. If you like musky scents, you probably really like this. If you like Molecule 01, I can't say that they're dupes because I've never smelled Molecule 01, but I have read a bunch of reviews that say that this is a spot on dupe to Molecule 01, but it's just not doing well on my skin. And I thought it was just yesterday when I tested it out, but I'm getting the same exact um, experience of it today now that I have it on again. Yeah, I'm not sure about this one. I think I might give this to my mom because I have a feeling she might really enjoy it. I just realized, I think the reason why this gives me vibes to Thank You Next is because this also has that pickle smell that Thank You Next has. But I feel like this has it even more because at least Thank You Next has that pickle smell, but then it dries down to be like a little bit more sweet. Like there's macaroon in the scent. So there's some scents that kind of like take out the pickle scent once it has dried down but i feel like this one the pickle scent is even stronger i don't know if i'm the only one getting that from this if you guys have tried i'm a musk let me know your opinions on it because this is just really weird to my nose all right the next three scents i really really love but i feel like the last two are my absolute favorite so let me go for this one next this is not another cherry can you guess what this is supposed to be compared to? Tom Ford Last Cherry. So the scent experience of this, it says that it's the last decadent bite of an amaretto soaked cherry. That sounds amazing. And then it smells like wild cherry, Turkish rose, and almond amaretto. So the way that they're making this out to be, it's more of like a gourmand cherry is what I'm getting. Whereas Tom Ford's Last Cherry is more like this dark, deep sort of cherry. Now. This definitely smells like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, but I almost kind of like this one more. The cherry is so much more prominent. All cherry. And then once it starts to dry down, I'm definitely getting the almond amaretto because there's kind of this sweet gourmandness that kind of comes through. It's not totally gourmand, but it's definitely like what they're describing it to be. Very much a really sweet amaretto soaked cherry like that's literally exactly what it is has a strong similarity to lost cherry though for sure and when i wore this yesterday i actually got pretty good lasting power out of it like it lasted me like six hours like i said i had sprayed it at the store and i feel like this i could strongly smell throughout the day like i can smell it even like from here i'm getting wafts of it not even just holding up my hand to my nose like it it's it's filling up the room right now. But yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this one. Like, this is so good. And to get a Tom Ford Lost Cherry dupe for $27.99, that is amazing. I'm super impressed with this brand. 
personal. All right, so now let's get into my two favorite scents out of this entire collection. I can't decide which one I like more, to be honest, but these are my two favorites. So we have Before the Rainbow and Magnetic Candy. Of course I had to pick up Magnetic Candy. I feel like when I saw all of the perfumes in this before I even had a chance to see them in store or smell them, I feel like I was the most drawn to Magnetic Candy because it's called Magnetic Candy and you guys know I'm a sucker for any sweet scent. And it's actually funny because yesterday when I was smelling them at the store, I actually did not love Magnetic Candy because I sprayed it on my hand and I was like, oh, that smells like a really, really cheap, sweet scent. It was giving me pink sugar vibes and that's still what it gives me. It's definitely supposed to kind of be a dupe to pink sugar, but there's a lot more to it. Like I feel like this is a little bit more intricate than pink sugar. It's a little bit more grown than pink sugar in my opinion. But something about it yesterday when I sprayed it on for the first time, I was like, that just smells like a cheap cotton candy scent. It just didn't wow me. And then it dried down and it got so, so good. And at first I actually didn't pick it up, but then I was like, no, let me go and give it another shot. So I went back and I smelled it again and I was like, okay, whoa, like I actually really like this one now. I think it's because I had sprayed on so many scents and this was probably like on top of like 50 other scents. So that's probably why I didn't get like an accurate first impression of it because when I tried it on the second time, I loved it. I was like, yes, immediately I took heart and actually my husband loves this one. I think this and the other one are his favorite. I feel like this one even more. So the scent experience on this, it says it's a nostalgic escape into a neon candy fantasy. And it smells like sugared violet, pink pomelo, and cotton candy. It smells so good. I don't know what the heck got me to not like this at first. Because this is so, so nice. I feel like they should have put this... In like a pink bottle I don't know what it's doing in this yellow bottle it's it's just like not fitting the vibe at all on Fragrantica the number one perfume that it's compared to is Parfum de Marley Oriana which I actually bought Delina you guys will be seeing that in an upcoming haul but I bought Delina and when I was at the Parfum de Marley stand I was really really like trying to figure out which one I wanted more and I was definitely in between Oriana and Delina but ultimately I ended up going for Delina because I was like this is a classic scent like I really really want to get my hands on this and I have a million Oriana type of scents in my collection like just really sweet marshmallowy type of scents So I was like, let me skip on Oriana for now And obviously those are not the perfumes where you can be like, oh, I'll just buy both because one of those perfumes is like $350 alone So I left Oriana behind but it still stuck with me like Oriana smells really really good It has like marshmallow scents in it. It smells really fluffy and sweet And the fact that people are actually comparing the scent to Oriana, which is like an over $350 scent Got me to really, really want to try this one. A lot of people are also saying that it's similar to Byredo Sundays. I have not smelled Sundays, so I personally can't compare it to that. But just to kind of tell you a few fragrances that this is compared by, they're really, really expensive scents. So it kind of puts it into perspective, like a $27 scent that smells like an over $350 scent. Obviously, they're doing something right. This just smells like sugar, orange blossom mixed with cotton candy. It's exactly what the notes in here are, like very true to the notes. And I feel like this is kind of like the baby of Oriana and pink sugar. Like if they had a baby, it would be magnetic candy. So if you're into sweet scents, you would absolutely love this. And let me tell you, this will get you compliments because we all know what pink sugar does. Pink sugar will get everybody to compliment you, especially men. Men really love pink sugar. Like I feel like it's like the biggest stereotype ever, but it's true. Like my husband loves it and he smelled this one. He was like, that smells really good. So I was like, of course you like the sweetest scents out of all of them. Right. Now, possibly my favorite scent. This is way different from Magnetic Candy. Like these two are like polar opposites. This is really sweet and this is fresh. And you guys are probably like, fresh? Don't you not like fresh scents? Well, I do like fresh scents, but fresh scents for me to like them, they have to be done really like in a unique way. There has to be character to them. I don't like just like an airy fresh scent that's gonna evaporate off my skin in two seconds. And there is one of those scents in this collection, which I'm gonna talk about uh, later. The scents that I didn't buy, obviously. So we'll get into that. But this is called Before the Rainbow. And this is actually a dupe for a perfume that I almost bought. So 
in my future haul that you guys are gonna see that's gonna include Delina, I also bought a Jo Malone fragrance. And if you guys just saw my dossier video, the last video that's right before this one, I actually showed you the Jo Malone fragrance that I bought. And that was Peony and Blush Suede. But when I bought that fragrance, I was in between Peony and Blush Suede and Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt. I did not think that I would like a scent like Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt until I sprayed it on. And it was just like one of the best scents in the world. It's like this kind of salty, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. I truly do not know how to explain it. I feel like they're not dupes, but it kind of puts me in the same mindset, like vibes wise as Max Turquatic. And I love Max Turquatic. Like it's a freshy, but a fresh scent that has so much character to it. And that's what Wood Sage and Salt gave. But when I was testing out Peony and Blush Suede and Wood Sage and Sea Salt, Ultimately, I went for Peony and Blush Suede just because it was sweeter and it also lasted a lot longer on my skin. But I love the scents of Wood Sage and Sea Salt. And when I found out that this brand had a dupe of Wood Sage and Sea Salt, this was the number one that I was sought after. Like, this was the number one. If I could only get one out of this entire line, it would have been this one. And my expectations were beyond met. This smells very similar to wood sage and sea salt but dare i say i actually like this one more oh my oh my god i don't know what it is there's no sweetness to it but wow the dry down of this is even better than wood sage and sea salt i actually feel like in wood sage and sea salt there was like this weird almost like ambergris scent that came through on my skin so although i really really loved it in the opening and it was a nice smell overall something in my skin turned like almost like slightly smoky and that i didn't love and this doesn't have it like i feel like this is exactly what i wished wood sage and sea salt was i don't get any sort of like smoky type of weird note it just dries down so smooth and it just has this like amazing dry down i can't explain it i think the best way to kind of compare the two is this one smells even more vibrant like it smells stronger wood sage and sea salt was a lot softer it didn't project as much so i'm liking this one way way more because i wish that that scent was a little bit stronger and this is exactly giving me what i wanted that scent to be and the fact that i got this for 27.99 and not 155 dollars that is a major win. I'm actually thinking of going back and buying the body mist of this. Hopefully, if it's still in stock, they are really, really flying off the shelves. I feel like because TikTok is hyping them so much that now every time people see that they're finally in their stores, they're just like grabbing a bunch. So if you guys are interested in these, I highly recommend you go check your targets out if they have them because it doesn't seem like they're going to be staying on the shelves for too long. I feel like if I could recommend one scent out of this entire line, it would probably be Before the Rainbow. And magnetic candy it kind of depends on what you like they're so different like this is way sweet and this is more fresh but it is like just the best unique amazing fresh scent ever like it is so good and that's coming from somebody that loves loves strong sweet gourmand scents that's really telling you something all right so those are all the scents that i personally picked up that i liked the most out of what i smelled and now we're gonna get into the ones that I did not pick up because for one reason or another, they just didn't wow me. Now, if you guys did try these scents out and you think that I would really like them and I should give them a second try, let me know in the comments why I should give them a second try. But let's start off with Flower Bed. So this is the scent that I feel like no matter what anybody tells me, I will not be picking up because Flower Bed is just like the most, in my opinion, not um wowing scent ever it just it didn't do anything for me this scent is along the same lines as chanel chance old tundra daisy by mark jacobs it is that like really really fresh airy fruity floral type of scent it doesn't stay on the skin for very long it just it seems like a scent that would literally evaporate off of your skin in like two minutes and it does so i mean maybe if you're into chanel chancel tundra you like the fresher scents you don't like anything that's too strong or overpowering then yeah sure i recommend flower bed but it just was not for me it was just a very lackluster scent in my opinion and then the next scent that i did not pick up this is jungle centel this scent is obviously a dupe for centel 33 by lilabo I personally have never loved Le Labo Centel 33. It's a little bit too like leathery, smoky, woody for me. And those types of scents just don't do well on my skin. 
they just don't smell good on me. I don't know. They just end up being really weird. So that was not my type of scent. If you like Centaur 33 or you've been wanting it, then go for it because I do think that they smell really similar. I have dupes um, like from dupe houses to Centaur 33. So I have that to kind of compare to and it smells exactly like the scent, but it just is not my, my scent personally. It's like a very green, mossy, sort of like deep, woody, dark scent. The other one that I will definitely not be getting, Midnight Cafe. This is clearly a dupe for Black Opium. As soon as I sprayed it out, I was like, yeah, that's totally Black Opium. I own Black Opium, so there's absolutely no reason for me to get Midnight Cafe. And I probably own like a million other dupes in my collection right now to Black Opium. Perfumes that are not even supposed to be a dupe to Black Opium. For example, Love by Sofia Vergara and honestly so many others. Like there's just so many perfumes that smell like Black Opium. So Midnight Cafe just did not wow me. It's a nice scent if you like black opium sure go for it because it's the exact same scent no need for me to get it it's kind of like that typical sweet coffee-esque really sexy scent honestly so if you're into black opium go for midnight cafe and, and the and last one this one is the one that i thought i was gonna pick up but after i found out the dupe i was like i already have the dupe and the dupe is like one of my most favorite scents ever and although i do feel like this scent came close to the dupe I don't think that they're a hundred percent the same. So this is sweet on the outside and it has notes of Madagascar vanilla, tonka bean, vetiver, and smoke. And sweet on the outside is said to be a dupe to Eilish by Billie Eilish. It's like this deep, oh, so good, spicy vanilla scent. Now it's a nice scent, don't get me wrong. It's compared to a lot of really nice deep dark vanilla scents, this being one of them, but this is like, nothing can beat this perfume for me like you guys know I have spoken about it many times this is one of my favorite vanillas in the entire world and absolutely nothing can replace this for me so although yes I do feel like it comes close to this it still is not a 100% dupe to this but if you're on the market for a nice deep dark spicy vanilla scent then sweet on the outside is a really really nice scent I just didn't buy it just because I have this and I feel like this is just so good for me that I just don't want to, I don't even want to touch any other scents that smell similar to it because there's just nothing that does it like this one. All right, so that is it for this video. That is my full review on the brand new Finery brand at Target. Let me know if you guys, well, let me know if these scents have even dropped in your stores and if they have, have you picked up any scents? Like which are your favorites? Which are your least favorites? What do you think about them? Let me know all your thoughts on this brand in the comments down below. I'm really excited to hear your thoughts because this brand is so new that nobody's really talking about them and I've gotten so many DMs too. So as soon as I saw that they were in store, I had to snatch up my favorites. If I could kind of like rate them in order of like what I like more, I feel like, I honestly feel like my number one favorite would be Before the Rainbow, even before Magnetic Candy and I really, really love this. I just have so many sweet scents, so I'm like, you know, whatever, but this is a really nice scent. So this is a close second almost tied with Before the Rainbow, but I'm just way too excited for this scent. My third favorite would probably have to be Not Another Cherry because I just love Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Fourth place would be Sunforia. And then last place out of the ones I've tried is I Am A Musk. Like I said, I'm still deciding on what I wanna do with this scent just because, I don't know, it's a little iffy as of right now. With all that being said, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video.